Before we finish this uh, section on solving using logarithms, I want to go back and revisit one of my favorite problems, the zombie problem. Uh, we had asked previously how long it would take for a zombie uh, infestation to overtake the world's population. And when we uh, originally were posed that question, we only had a couple ways to do it. One was to use guess and check, and one was to graph it. But we did not have a way to solve it algebraically until now. So let's go ahead and revisit this problem and now that we know about using logarithms to solve, see how we can use algebra and logarithms to find our solution. So in this case, let's see if we can remember how to write this model. Uh, we started with three zombies, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. And of course I do, hopefully you do too, or you're checking your notes. This was the model that we used for exponential growth. The A stood for our initial number of zombies, so that was three. Uh, the one, uh, just we started at 100%. From there I increased by 87%, so 0.87, and then times or raised to the T, because we don't know how many days this is going to take. So there's my model that I want to use to figure out when the zombie population will uh, reach 7 billion. That's 7 with 9 zeros. And so the equation I'm going to write then is 7 billion. So start writing out all your zeros. Uh, and then equals the model we just wrote. So 3 times, I'm just going to go ahead and add those together. So it's 1.87 raised to the t power. So this is what I now am able to solve algebraically. We could not have done this before. So I want to start with dividing both sides by 3. I can't multiply 3 and 1.87. That's not allowed. So I'll divide both sides by 3, which leaves me with 2 billion, or 2, no, billions, right? 2 billion, and then a whole bunch of 3. So again, give me a second. So 2 billion, I'm not even going to bother saying this number, uh, but that. Uh, is then equal to 1.87 raised to the t. Well, what we've just learned uh, in this section was a way to get rid of bases. And to get rid of a base, we're going to do a logarithm to do it. And specifically, we're going to do the log base of what we're trying to get rid of. And so in this case, the base we want to make go away is 1.87. So I'm going to do the log base 1.87 of both sides. Okay, so... Again, my writing's not super uh, accurate at this point, but hopefully you're following what I'm trying to do. So log base 1.87 of that 2 billion number. So either using change of base or using the log base button in the calculator, you can now work that out. Uh, if you need to see how to do that, either go back and watch that video or ask me in class. But when I do the log base 1.87 of 2 billion and all those threes, I end up with... I remember those cancel out. I end up with an answer of approximately uh, 34... 0.46 uh, days. So I have a little over a month before the zombies have taken over everybody. Uh, if you want to double check it, you can use guess and check or you can use graphing like we uh, learned about previously. But now we have an algebraic way to do this.